What's poppin', what's poppin'? Uh, well, the family of Malcolm X, also known as uh, Malik Shabazz, or al Haj Malik Shabazz, will file a $100 million lawsuit against the state of New York, the city of New York, the FBI, and the CIA for a combination of $100 million a hundred million dollars alleging that they covered up the death of Malcolm X you know um, if you guys remember about two years ago I made a video speaking about how two individuals who was accused and sent to prison for the murder of Malcolm X was exonerated as it was proven that those two individuals did not kill Malcolm X and there was a New York Times article that I read to you guys in that video that showed how the NYPD and the federal government actually hid one of the true perpetrators that was involved in the death of Malcolm X now the two individuals who was exonerated for the death of Malcolm X were, were successful in suing uh, the United States government for a combination of $36 million, million. So therefore, if they're able to sue the government for being framed for something that they did not commit, and at the same time, they're being proof that the government and the NYPD and the state of New York well, when I say the government I mean the federal government the NYPD and the state of New York covered up one of the true assassinators or one of the true assassins that killed Malcolm X then Malcolm's family actually has some leverage to win this lawsuit so I'm not going to read this article to you guys you guys are going to have to read it for yourselves but the link to this article is located in the video description box underneath and also the video that i was referring to that i created uh, about two years ago about the people that was exonerated for the death of malcolm x the link to that video is also located in the video description box underneath so I hope more people are, you know, are talking about this. You know, this is a very short article, by the way. You know, so, yeah, I believe that this is a great thing. What I really believe is that, you know, the family should be suing the government, the state of, excuse me, the family of Malcolm X should be suing the FBI, the CIA, the state of New York, and the NYPD for way more money than $100 million. I think, you know, I believe that being that there is evidence that they covered up one of the true people that murdered Malcolm X, that the local, state, and federal government teamed up together to do that because let's keep it real we all know that Malcolm X was a victim of the FBI's co-intel pro movement or co or counterintelligence program it's not a movement I, I, forgive me the co-intel pro or the FBI's counterintelligence program in which uh, the head of the FBI at that time named um, J. Edgar Hoover had the goal to take down any black leaders at that time because J. Edgar, according to J. Edgar Hoover's point of view they posed a threat to America's national security quote unquote you know you know black people leading in, or prominent black people like Malcolm X leading black people out of being mistreated and oppressed in America was considered a national threat to the eyes of the American government. Can't you believe that shit? So, 
Uh, nah. Malcolm X's family deserve more than a hundred million dollars for because by the government being involved in covering up one of the assassins who killed Malcolm X, that that <clears throat> that really shows, like I said before, that there was a plot. Or a conspiracy to kill the man. And what that did when 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 that man when this man died alongside other great black leaders such as MLK, uh, Medgar Evers, you know, Fred Hampton, the list goes on. That sent so-called black people in America a hundred years back into fucking slavery and when I what I mean by that is you know after these leaders shortly after these great leaders got killed right or or or, or sent to prison for a very long time that crack epidemic came and just totally wiped away whatever advancement that black people have uh, achieved at the time and if the, and if these government agencies was uh, did not, if these government agencies never got involved in taking down these black leaders, black people would have been in America would have been in a way better predicament than they are now. I believe so. And due to that, due to that, and due to the fact that there is evidence of. These government agencies covering up one of the true killers of Malcolm X, the family of Malcolm deserve to be rewarded way more than a hundred million dollars. You know, but and so I have to say in regards to this um, topic, you guys give me your opinion, tell me what you think, but give me your opinion after you read the article. Don't sit there, just give your plain opinion, and you don't read the article. You, I mean, the fucking article is not that long. It's very short. But anyhow, uh, all right, peace out.